Hello and welcome to the Worship Luthier. Today we're going to talk about this fretboard that I've made on my CNC machine. Um, the, the wood that I'm using is Indian rosewood and as you can see I've got some inlaid fretboard markers and I've chosen the shape to reflect a feather shape. Um, the interesting thing is that I can then see the fretboard markers from the edge so that I can do two jobs at once. I don't have to put um, end edge markers on it. Um, I'm also going to be spending a bit of time showing you how I did the CAD design so that I can get all the fret slots in exactly the right position in my CAD software but also be adjustable for different designs. So it's a parametric design for the fretboard. Hope you enjoy the video. So if we look at the CAD model of my fretboard, I have done the modeling in Fusion 360 and I've made it a parametric design. So that means that I can change any of the parameters of the fretboard and the design will update. So if I click on the parameters section, you'll see that all of the, the main geometry of the fretboard is in a field which I can go and change if I like. So that is the scale length, the nut width, the heel width, the fretboard thickness, the radius, 305 which is a 12 inch radius, etc. Even the, um, the fret slots are, are modeled in there. So I can make it either blind fret slots or all the way through. So if we have a look at the fretboard sketch, we can see that all of the dimensions of our sketch that the fretboard is based off um, are actually calculations and um, they are all based off the parameters that I put in there. So here you can see the scale length of 648 millimeters and then all of the positions of the frets that are automatically calculated. For more information about Fusion 360 and designing guitars in Fusion 360, um, go to Austin Shainer's YouTube channel. Um, he's got some fantastic videos there, which I learned so much from in modeling all of my guitars, especially things like the transitions on the neck and also how to do all of this parametric work with the fret slots. So I started the manufacturing process by taking my blank of Indian rosewood and machining it down to six millimeters. The next step is to cut out the fret markers from maple. So this is my CNC machine cutting out the feather shaped fret markers. So then the next thing was to install the three millimeter cutter so that I could cut out the notches for the fret markers in the fretboard. This is the CNC cutting out the fretboard marker slots. Once all of the slots are cut out, then I glued in the fretboard markers. Um, and started the radiusing operation on the fretboard. So this is my 13 millimeter ball nose cutter going up and down and machining the 12 inch radius into the fretboard. So to cut the fret slots I use a 0.6 millimeter cutter and um, go very, very slowly in my tool, tool path so that I don't break it. And here you can see the machine is cutting the blind, the blind fret slots and I'm stepping down uh, 
one five millimeters at a time. So it's going very, very slowly. Um, and that way I can get very accurate and very neat fret slots. So yeah, you can see the finished machined fretboard. Still a bit rough on the surface, but everything is geometrically correct. So I have a 12 inch radius uh, sanding block, which I had machined from aluminium. And here I'm using, I think around about a hundred grit sandpaper, just to get all the machining scratches out and to get the fretboard neat. I hope to enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep watching the series. Okay, is it ready? Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep watching for the next exciting episode on the Albatross build. Mm -hmm.